Hello, everyone. This is Betsy Wurzel. You're our host of Shining with Betsy on Passionate Rule Talk Radio Network, where our mantra is to educate, enlighten, and entertain. Passionate Rule Talk Radio Network is a subsidiary of Global Media Network, LLC. The views of the guest may not represent those of the host of the station. Folks, welcome to Chatting with Betsy. I am so excited today. My guest today, I'm going to tell you about my guest. She is from New Jersey originally. Yay, New Jersey's in the house. And we're going to have a great conversation. Uh, now, uh, Randy Thompson lives in New York. So um, I'm so excited. I'm so glad that Randy Thompson reached out to me. Randy Thompson is an author and a writer, and she has this wonderful book, number uh, one Amazon bestseller, An Awakening Heart, A Journey of Self-Discovery. And also, she also has this wonderful book, The Power of Inspiration, which has all these wonderful quotes. And I'll tell you, I was sitting here just before talking to um, Randy before we started recording, and I needed this. This is a book I'm keeping because I need to read these quotes daily. You will need to get this book and read these quotes daily to help inspire you. I'm I'm telling you, um, whatever you're facing in life, get this book. And, of course, um, also The Awakening Heart is also an inspiring book. And we're going to talk about both of those books. Uh, Randy Thompson, as I said, she's a writer, she's an author, a spiritual entrepreneur, transformation facilitator based in New York City. She is the founder and president of Enrichment Incorporation, a consulting practice she created in 2009 to offer transformational experiences to those who desire a new reality and a more fulfilling approach to life. Randy has studied and worked with many influential transformation leaders of our time, and I highly suggest you go on Randy's website, which will be in the blog, to learn more about Randy and her work, because I want to get to talking to uh, Randy uh, for as long as I can. And I want to welcome Randy Thompson to Chatting with Betsy. Hi, Randy. Thank you for having me, Betsy. I greatly appreciate it. I love being here with your uh, following, and I hope that we'll be uh, looking forward to our conversation. I am so um, grateful and uh, honored that you've contacted me, and it's my pleasure to have you on. Uh, I also want to say, <laughs> my paper got lost in, in my shuffle here, um, that uh, Randy also after a 20-year career in media training and recruitment, she led the corporate world to devote herself to helping others live in the present moment and take inspired action to recreate their lives. I'll tell you, that's important, Randy. And thank you. Thank you for sending me these books, and well, first of all, for writing them and uh, for sending them to me. Thank um, you so much. Glad you enjoyed them. I did. What? motivated you to write An Awakening Heart, A Journey of Self-Discovery? We'll start with that book first. Um, Well, that book is more about my own personal journey. And to be very honest with you, I never, ever thought in a million years that I was going to write such a personal book. Spirit had told me a long time ago that I would be writing a book, but when they first told me, I didn't really believe it. And... um, (coughs) But what happened was as I was building my um, Facebook account and my other social media, I put out a few stories about, you know, what had happened in my life and how I dealt with it and and what the outcome was. And I called that, it was called Spoken from the Heart. And as I started to do that, people were responding like, wow, you know, that happened to me and I, you know, I thought I was the only one and... And I'm so glad to see the way you handled it. It really helped me. So I thought, wow, you know, I'm, if this could help someone, maybe it's worth me putting out that type of information. Um, and that's how the book sort of came about. 
I know, Miranda, you touched on something that I say all the time. And I, it's such a nugget. And that is that people think they're the only ones who feel the way they do. Right. And it's so true. And I say this on my show all the time. This is why one reason why I have Chatting with Betsy, because I want people to know they're not alone. There's many, many others who feel the same way. We're just afraid to say so because we're afraid of getting judged and we're afraid what people think of us. Until you I get agree. older, folks. <laughs> when I you get my I age. Agree. I agree. <laughs> and I, and yeah. as I was going through it, I thought I was the only one. Mm-hmm. And, you know, but, but what I've gone through and, and the lessons that people learn, a lot of them are universal. They might come and look in different ways. But the lesson itself that's there, what's there to teach us is, is universal. And that's another thing about the book. It's not just about what happened to me. It's more important to me that I understand that everything that has happened had a lesson attached to it. And if I'm willing to look for the lesson, then I won't have to relearn that lesson again. So to me, I look at everything that happens most of the time, Betsy, I'll be honest, um, that everything has a reason and a purpose and a lesson for us to learn from. And if we're willing to say, okay, why, what is this here to teach me? Instead of saying, oh, why did this happen to me? Then we could learn the lesson a lot quicker. I love that. Oh, Randy, I wish you were sitting right across from me. Because me I too. would have... Hug you. That's so true. I say that. Oh, my goodness. I say that also on, on the show because I've heard people say that. You know, instead of saying, why me? And I know that's not easy to do, folks, because I would say the same thing. And I still right. catch myself saying, why me when my dryer breaks down and everything else is breaking down? And then I said, okay, what do you want me to learn from this? Right. And it's so true. What and it, can I learn? I, we're all human, and we all feel the same way. Like recently, I had a very bad accident, and I fractured my shoulder in six places. They had to put me back oh. together like dumpty. I have six, ten screws in a plate. And, you know, in the beginning, I was like, you know, God, I'm trying my best here to help, and, you know, this doesn't really help me out here. You know, like. I didn't take my own advice for a little while, like instead of saying, why did this happen? You know, what is it here to teach me? You know, at first I had a little bit of a pity party. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and I was in a lot of pain and whatever. But the point I'm trying to make is it's not, you know, don't be hard on yourself either. Um, You know, do the best you can. It might not come right away, but, you know, after the dust settles, then you could be a little clearer yes um i forgot who the person was but i heard a person say because i I listen to a lot of motivational inspirational people so and he said you know look at the bigger picture you don't know what god has in store for you how god's going to use this and if you don't believe in god then whatever you know your belief is um whatever your belief is doesn't matter what the name is Right, right. Um, There's a bigger purpose. And I I always give an example, my husband's journey with Alzheimer's. You know, I ask constantly, why? Why Matt? Why Why me? And now I I understand. Uh, Through Matt's journey, I learned my gifts. I learned I had a voice. And I'm using it. And this is how I... Oh, I got discovered by Jeannie White by doing my um, advocacy videos. And Matt's journey brought me to where I'm supposed to be. And that's a service to Bravo. people, helping people. Bravo. Bravo to that. Because ultimately, you couldn't <clears throat> see it in the beginning. You had to see it in right. hindsight. So, but that's what, it, what I was trying to say is that, you know, don't be hard on yourself if it's going to take a little while for you to see the gift that was given to you. And now you do see the gift, but you couldn't see it while you were in it. True. That's uh, that's very true. And um, I know you have uh, in your 
book, you have a, a story that of you met a guy and he said something to the effect, um, no woman will ever be in that house because he had lost oh, his yeah. wife. Yes. Um, yes. I, <laughs> I could relate to that. <laughs> I read that and I said, you know what, I could relate to that. But even in lost folks, um, I have learned to integrate my grieving with my living. And to me, in my opinion, Randy, the best way to honor our loved one is to keep enjoying life and helping others. That's, I agree with you 100%. But not everybody can do that. Can do that, right. He had his own issues or own whatever, and he couldn't <clears throat> let that go. So, but that was his thing. Like You can only help a person so far. They have to be willing to help themselves, too. Absolutely. Yes, that's very true. I mean, I'm not ashamed to say it. I say it all the time that I go for uh, counseling. And But if I don't do the work, if I didn't do work on myself, a counselor, psychiatrist, psychologist, whoever you go to, is not going to help because you do have to do that inner work. Correct. Um, I agree with you 100%. And there's nothing wrong with, sure. with reaching out for help. I mean, you know, with this experience I currently had, I was traumatized. I had to find somebody to help me through that process. And that's what I'm in the process of now. But so, you know, there are times in everybody's lives where we could reach out for help. And, and I think it's important to think it's, it's not a taboo. You know, these people are there to help us and they're willing to help us. Oh, absolutely. We're in such the same wave uh, length, Randy, because all the time uh, I talk about, you know, and encouraging people to go for support. Um, and I feel that if I admit that I go, then maybe we'll say, oh, I bet they could say it and she admits it, then maybe I'll go. Because and then I, I don't mean to be redundant, folks, but I, I it's important to say no one knows what life has in store for us. You don't know what kind of curveball you're going to get, and you might need support. Everybody does at some point. So don't judge others because they are seeking support. They're the smart ones. They're the strong ones that are seeking support because they know that they need the help. They need the extra support, and it's okay. Because um, you have to do what you have to do to get through something. And I highly, all the time, I highly recommend counseling. And I have a lot of mental health um, topics on my show and mental health advocates because I'm very strong on that. And I'm really grateful that you're hearing more about it now. It's more accepted to seek um, support. It's, it's about time, I'll tell you that, because <laughs> it wasn't that popular in the 70s. <laughs> yes, but people did it without other people knowing. I mean, you know, <clears throat> this is not my first time in therapy either, but, um, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was spoken about as freely as it is now, but it's taken a long time to get here. And I still think there's more to go. We have more... Yes. Um, we definitely have more to go, but people like ourselves say, you know, with reaching out or, or saying, you know, we do that at times we need to reach out for help. At other times we don't necessarily need it. And there's many different types of help out there now. So yes, it's out there. And if you feel you need it, I would say don't be ashamed. Um, reach out because there's a lot of people there to help you. Oh, yes, absolutely. And if you're a senior, like 60, or even if you're younger and your spouse or partner is disabled, check your senior center. Check with your, um, what's it called here, your uh, Department of, of Aging. Um, here in my town, uh, Woodbridge Township in New Jersey, there's a senior center. They offer free counseling. Um, with the social worker 
and I'm also uh, receiving that, and I'm also seeing um, psychologists because to me, the social worker wasn't enough, and I needed to see someone. I needed extra support um, at that time, and I still do. So I, I think it's, gr- it's great. There's there's services and resources available that we don't know about, which is another reason why I do my show, because I want people to know about resources. And you're a wonderful resource, Randy. Um, what, does, what do you do, like, to your company? Uh, what do you offer uh, people? Well, my company was originally created to actually put events together for spiritual teachers, such as a Kevin Ryerson or a Greg Braden. But I also want to make it clear that if there is anyone out there walking, you know, their own um, awakening path, I want them to know they're not alone. And if they want to reach out to me personally, if I can help them in any way, I would be more than happy to do that. So what I originally thought my business would be and and what I'm doing now is a little bit different because I am working with people one-on-one. But most of the people that I'm working with are walking that um, path of awakening and they're, they're new to it, so they don't really understand it. So if there is anyone out there, I don't want them to feel what I felt, which was alone and mm-hmm. didn't feel that anybody would understand what I was going through. So I say to everyone I speak to, if there's something I can do to help you, if you're going through something, email me, um, or call me, and I'll be more than happy to see if I can help you in some way. That's beautiful. I had to ask you uh, this, Randy. How did you, in your book, An Awakening Heart, During Your Self-Discovery, how did you decide what quotes to go with what chapter? Because these quotes are so inspiring that um, I could read the quotes, and just it brings tears to my eyes because it's what I needed to read. I mean, it's just really a phenomenal. Well, I guess I, knowing the story of, you know, what was going on in that particular chapter, I looked for quotes that I felt related to that particular story. I love quotes. I wrote a second a book called The Power of Inspiration, which is a book of quotes. And when I first started, I used to do a lot of things with quotes. I put out a quote every single day. And to be honest with you, I did it more for me than I did for anybody else. But everybody would come to my page and to see what quote I put out for the day. And when I didn't put out a quote, people would say, where's your quote? But I, and I used to even make like little pictures with dried flowers with inspirational quotes on them. I mean, quotes for me, have it's a quick minute to read a quote that's positive and uplifting, and I, I at least read one or two every day, and I still put out a quote most days on my social media. It's become very popular now, but when I first started it, not many people were doing that, at least to my knowledge. So I pick quotes that inspired me and the ones in the book, An Awakening Heart, I wanted it to have something to do with that particular story. That is, uh, well, you did a great job. Uh, really so uh, a wonderful job in, in reading your uh, book. And I, I related to it. Um, I apologize. I read the book a while ago and I read so many books for my uh <clears throat> my show but i the, the the why the the guy telling you you know no one would go into his house i was something that stood in my mind because that's how i feel i still feel that way i mean i'm enjoying life but i couldn't have another man live in my house um i'm i have no interest in dating um right. and it's been four years since uh, matt died and that's just me but you know what, if, right. if somebody wants to date again, 
that's great. That's fine for them. And there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's just for me, I'm not ready. And I just can't picture being with anyone else. Uh, not that I'm not moving forward. Um, I just, it's just not right for me. I just would not feel comfortable. And I'm okay. shy. People don't believe that. <laughs> People don't and when it. you're ready, and when you're ready, and the time is right for you, then <clears throat> hopefully you'll find the right person, you know, that you would feel comfortable with. Right, right. Um, and every yeah, I mean, everyone is is different. Uh, how and you're ahead of your time too, Randy, because you were doing quotes and nobody else is doing it. I was doing. Um, videos in my car where nobody else is doing it. Now everyone's doing videos in their car, uh, talking about topics that people weren't talking about. How did you decide on what quotes to put in the power of inspiration? Well, I, you know, the first time I sat down to do quotes, <clears throat> I, I did about, there was about 100 more that, that are not in the book. So I started out with, you know, quotes that inspired me that I really liked um, and different authors that I felt like some of them helped me. Like there's one in there from Kevin Ryerson, um, and Kevin and I have been working together for many years. Um, so it's also that some of the books and teachers that I've worked with, but most of the time it was more of, which ones inspired me, and then I would read them and say, okay, this inspires me, but it doesn't really anymore, so I would take it out. Sometimes I would look at it a week later and put it back in. So basically I went with the ones I felt inspired me more through more than one read or in some way touched me. And that's how I chose the ones that I put in the book. Uh, again, an excellent uh, job. If you don't mind, I'm going to read a quote that you wrote. Randy oh, oh, Thompson <laughs> to the quote, forget the pain the experience brought, but never forget the lesson gained. And boy, that hit me this morning. And I'm like, yeah, so many lessons, right? Um, and well, that leads back to our conversation from before saying, don't yeah. say to God, why did this happen? It's what was the lesson, it, what is it here to teach me? It's sort of the same concept. Yes, yes. Um, I like this one too. It's author unknown. A lot of things broke my heart, but they fixed my vision. Wow, that is so powerful. It is, um, isn't it? Because you, you, it's a lesson learned, basically. Like, it might have broke your heart, but you got to see something clearer than before. Yes, yes. I, if you don't mind, can I read one more? Go right so ahead. You, <laughs> you got to get this book. This is by uh, Mel Robbins, who's a very, um, you see her all the time on social media. Uh, there will always be someone who can't see your worth. So don't let that be you. Wow. How many times do we, we are our own worst critic and we don't see our worth? Um, that is just, uh, folks, you want inspiration. I'm telling you, get this book. All the, so many inspiring quotes and there's a little, um, there's, lines where you can write uh, your thoughts, reflections, uh, just to have it as um, accompaniment to an awakening heart. Um, really, it, you, can't, you can't go wrong with <laughs> what I want to say. Um, very uh, inspiring and really at a time when I uh, need it. Because I'll be honest with you, Randy, and, and folks uh, in the audience, I've had a rough start to this year, really rough. My very dear friend who helped me start my group, hashtag kick all timers death movement, died. Um, a friend of my son's died. My mother just died, plus things going wrong in my house. 
And, yeah, I needed to read these quotes. And I tell you, Randy. I'm so sorry for your losses. Oh, thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, really, I'm so grateful that I have this book of quotes because it helped me so much this morning. Because I was feeling a little down. Today's my mom's birthday. She would have been 94. She died two weeks ago. And um, really, these quotes really um, helped me. And, you know, people say, well, why don't you take time off? You know, don't do your show. But you know what? My mom, Harriet Wurzel, she was like, Betsy, life goes on. And I'm doing, still doing shows because my mom would want me to because life does go on. And it's a great way to honor my mother's memory, especially today. She's which still is, with uh, you, just in another form. Yes. But it's hard. <coughs> I mean, we all have lost people in our lives. And I know that's easier said than done, but just know that she's here with us, that she's with you, especially now since it's so new, Um you know, that she, she's with you. She, you're carrying her with you all the time. So every achievement you make and everything you do, she'll be there. Oh, thank you. And, you know, I feel that way about Matt. And I, people might think I'm a little wacky, but that's okay. I've received signs from Matt. Yes. And I know there were signs from Matt. And right. uh, people, you know, could believe whatever they want, but... Um, I know what I saw, and um, I was not on any drugs. I don't take drugs right. to make me hallucinate, make that clear. And uh, But I know what I saw, and I believe that they are signs from from that. Um, Absolutely. Do you, but I'm sure I, Matt and your mother would want you to move on with your life. Yes. And be happy and enjoy your time and, you know, I'm sure both of them want you to be happy. Without a doubt, they would not want you to be miserable or unhappy. They would want you to be happy and joyful. Yes, yes, that's very true. You know, my mother would say, yeah, of course it's not the same, but, you know, um, it does go on. And, um, you know, I'm grateful that I had my mom for 93 years. Right. Um, I wish she would have lived to to have seen her birthday, but, um, you know, that's uh, at that age, you know, you never know. Well, nobody ever knows, but uh, statistically, when you're in your 90s, you just uh, don't know. But I just, I love to connect with people like you, Randy, who help others, who's a resource, you know, to help others find their way you know, to help guide them and support them when they are awakening to who they are and they need some some guidance. I just think that's um, that's wonderful. Yes, and it's not, not always an easy path or journey to choose, but being your authentic self um, out in the world, we need more people like that. So... If there's some way I can help them, um, I would love to do that. I mean, look, I always say I'm a student and I'm a teacher. I'm both. I keep yes. learning it myself, but as I do that, if there's somebody who, you know, can learn from me or benefit from what I've already been through, then I'd be more than happy to share it. Uh, oh, thank you. Randy, I love that. I'm a student and a teacher. That is brilliant because we're, we're all students, right? We're always learning, and yet we're right. teaching at the same time. Um, and I, that's, uh, I like that. I really uh, like that because I, I feel that way myself. You know, I'm, right. I'm learning, and I'm I'm teaching, you know, from my experience, I'm teaching others. Correct. Um, and you're and using I, your authentic self to do that through this <coughs> radio show and other things. Yes. <laughs> I have to tell you something funny. I'll tell the audience, the, the folks, 
really, what, what you hear with me is really that this is who I am because I can't be anybody else. When I started my show, I would listen to other podcasters and I would think to myself, I don't sound like them. <laughs> like, what am I doing? What am I doing talking <laughs> when I don't sound like these other people? And then I got to thinking, well, Betsy, you're not like other people. You're you. And people will remember that because you were different. And you have your own, you know, unique way of interviewing, of talking to people. And that will make me stand out, I hope. But I used to think that, you know, like, what am I doing? But, folks, you got to be who you are. You know, and if you don't like something about yourself that you can change, um, change it. That's why I tell my son, and what you can't accept, uh, I mean, what you can't change, don't learn to accept that. And it's not easy. But I think we really need to accept ourselves, flaws and all. I agree. You are perfect, uh, but not perfect humans. Right, right. Also, Randy, we're that's can... what I'm here for. We're here to learn and to grow and evolve. Yes, yes. And we're, as long as we're living, we need to evolve. We need to grow. We need to learn. And, um, you know, we never stop learning. You're never too old to stop learning, you know, that saying, oh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yes, you can. I have changed. (laughs) Yes, you can. That's okay. (laughs) Yes, I really, um, I'm 66 now, but I really started to change six years ago at the age of 60. And I used to always be negative, and I changed to being more positive, having a different outlook, and it's changed my life. Um, and I'm really blessed. I, I really, people say, well, Beth, how can you say that you're blessed that through what you've been through? But it really, I am blessed. I'm, I'm blessed to still be alive and to be healthy. And I'm grateful for that. Be grateful, folks. Um, don't take anything for granted. I agree. Gratitude. At, of an, an attitude of gratitude is really the way to go. Not always easy, but I would say to you that the more gratitude, you know, you can do have, the more you will have, you know? Yes, so yes. Attitude uh, of gratitude will take you far. Yes, and it's hard. Believe me, folks, it's hard to be grateful sometimes. Um, with things going wrong, but there is always something to be grateful for. Randy, uh, where can people purchase your books? Um, Amazon. They're both on Amazon. Uh, The Power of Inspiration is um, at Barnes & Nobles as well, .com. Um, And it's also, I believe, at Walmart. Uh, Might be at Costco. Um, but I know a lot of people uh, go to Amazon, so it would be easier right. there. And you can also, if you go to my website, enrichmentinc.com, there's a book for purchase, which will take you to all the places that the books are available. Um, or you can go to Amazon and just type my name. It's Randy Thompson, spelled with a T-O-M-C-H-I-N. And um, you'll be able to see... Uh, purchase both books there as well. Oh, thank you. And I highly recommend folks reach out to, to Randy Thompson. Uh, all the information about Randy will be in the blog that Jeannie White, who's station manager, writes, and Jeannie produces the show. So thank uh, Jeannie for that. And I want to thank you again, Randy Thompson, for running your books, coming on um, a show, and I really just feel such a connection with you. And the first time we've talked, and I feel a connection, and I wish you the best. I hope you um, your shoulder heals well. Sorry about your accident. And, folks, please check out the website. Um, there's only so much I could cover on a show. And really check out the guests because Randy's a wonderful resource, and her 
books are phenomenal, and they will help you to be inspired. Um, some books I give away, um, but I will not give away Brandy's books. I'm going to keep <laughs> them because I'm going to have to refer to them, uh, especially the ones with the um, wonderful uh, inspirational quotes. And um, I want to thank Lillian Caldwell, who's CEO of Pasture World Talk Radio, who makes this all possible. And I want to thank you, the listeners. Thanks for listening, subscribing, sharing. And if you don't already subscribe to Chatting with Betsy, oh, what are you waiting for? It's for free. It's on iHeart, Spotify, Spreaker, and Apple. I want to reach as many folks as possible. I want to help as many folks as possible. And I have wonderful guests on that can help you have a better life. And I just want to uh, help people. And that's the purpose of Chatting with Betsy. And that's why I need your help to do it. And I also have a support group. You um, are all welcome if you are a caregiver, even if you're not. Um, hashtag Hick Alzheimer's Ass Movement on Facebook. And if you want to follow me, excuse me, <coughs> I'm on Facebook, Betsy, B-E-T-S-Y, E Wurzel, W-U-R-Z-E-L. And I'm also on uh, LinkedIn. Instagram is like a personal account, and I still can't figure out Instagram. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I recommend um, those sites. And as I always say on my show, in a world where you can be anything, please be kind and shine your light bright because we sure need it now more than ever. Um, kindness, being kind um, to each other. Let's bring back our humanity and start loving and caring for each other, no matter what we believe, no matter what our ethnic origin is. And it would be a better world. This is Betsy Wurzel, your host of Chatting with Betsy on Passion World Talk Radio Network, a subsidiary of Global Media Network, LLC. Till we chat again, be kind and be safe. Bye-bye now. Thank you so much, Betsy. You're welcome.